Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Today I picked up a world-class, most epic tool you could have ever imagined from Matco. If those of you that have ever looked for engine noise or pulley noise or accessory noise or just a random tick, maybe you had some problems with chassis, steering and suspension components making noise, you're gonna wanna watch this video all the way through. How many times have we ever used a stethoscope to try to narrow down our findings and figure out where the noise complaint is coming from? And how many times has that pulley noise actually steered us in the wrong direction? Now you've heard of these things called chassis ears. Chassis ears are great, especially when you're trying to find noise complaints while you're on a test drive. But how many times have you been trying to test uh, accessory noise come from the engine bay at an idle, maybe you take the serpentine belt off, maybe you leave it on, maybe you're taking things you know, from one direction to another to try to narrow down your findings, and it's just the more stuff you have to take off to try to narrow down those actual findings and result. Today, I have a tool that I picked up from Matco Tools that's a be-all, end-all tool, and it's called the Smart Ear One. Let's take a look at some of the components, what kind of software you need in order to actually make this tool function and how you can use it user-friendly using your phone. Let's take a look. All right, so this is called the Smart Ear One. Uh, part number is SE91948. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. Inside here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different components that it comes with. These are all tools to aid you in actually finding that accessory noise. You're going to have instruction manuals for the iPhone as well as an Android-based software phone. You're going to have, uh, you can hook it up to a tablet, so it's going to show you how to set it up through a tablet, whether it's the iPad or a Samsung Galaxy touchpad of your choosing it's up to you it does come with an adapter here that does plug into your smartphone but not all smartphones will be able to fit this specific adapter which is why it comes with a completely separate adapter right here so you can still take your iphone say you have a 7 like i do and you can plug in the little tiny ear adapter there and then plug this into it pretty awesome stuff let me go grab it real quick all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my phone so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. This is the adapter that plugs into the audio jack of your iPhone or smartphone. Again, if you have an Android product or the original iPhone 6 or 4, you can plug this into the ear jack, no problem. Uh, if you have an iPhone 7 or above, you might not be able to utilize this specific component and you will have to use this adapter here. It does come with, you can see here uh, on this tool, it's got one for earbuds as well as a microphone and a uh, accessory clip or chassis clip, whatever you wanna call it. Right here is the actual clip itself. It's got a clamp on it right here. Pretty heavy duty, plenty of test lead here to uh, hook on any accessory pulley or chassis component if you're trying to spin a wheel to try to narrow down that finding. Then you have your set of earbuds here that will connect into one of the jack ports on this tool itself. So that way you can actually listen to the noise as it's making noise, basically taking away that stethoscope feel from it. Still being able to listen to it, but being able to utilize a clamp or a probe this is the accessory probe here. How this works is it hooks on to the microphone, which is this little adapter here, and you slide it into the boot like so, and you plug this end here, this audio input right here into where the clamp or microphone is supposed to be clamped into. Then you can use this probe to get down into the engine bay, down into the accessories, touch that specific accessory that makes that noise to be able to hear or watch the decibel changes. Now for this, since we do not have a vehicle currently in front of us to utilize it on, though I do have one for this weekend that we're gonna check out on an old, uh, I believe it's an early 60s or mid 60s Chevy pickup truck, we're gonna try to help him to narrow down his search. He believes it's a water pump issue. We're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna utilize this specific tool 
to do that so make sure you stay tuned for that video on how to utilize this on a particular vehicle the application that you're going to need is called the smartphone one app it's a matco app pulls up just like so and you can see here that it's got a few different settings just to continue i can change it you'll notice that the uh the microphone internal microphone is actually picking up my voice and registering it and it's giving off an average decibel range and the louder louder and louder that the uh person is or accessory is obviously the higher the decibel is going to be and it'll help you to narrow down your findings it'll also give you a small waveform down here at the bottom so what we're going to end up doing is utilizing this app with this particular tool right here we're going to help him to try to narrow down his findings in accessory noise vibration and harshness now he has a little bit of a noise vibration harshness coming from his engine bay it's not while he's driving it's like all the time at an idle he believes it to be coming from the water pump we're going to utilize this tool this weekend to try to see if we can actually verify that that particular noise is actually coming from his water pump but this is a new ingenuitive tool that's just come out on the market uh, it was on the truck today it's called the smart ear one again there's the part number for you pretty pretty awesome stuff how many times have we used stethoscopes to try to narrow down the findings taking away the probe to utilize just the scope uh, portion itself or attaching the probe to try to find ticks and rattles and things like that taking off drive belts putting drive belts back on I believe that this tool will actually help you and aid you in being able to still find that noise without necessarily taking off any components of that vehicle so I'm very excited about this particular tool comes in a very nice case very slim design doesn't take up a lot of room it's pretty awesome pick this up today for about $97 after taxes came out to like 10707 or something like that so I'm very excited about this tool I wanted to try to get this video put together and share it with you guys before going into this weekend to give you an idea of what it is that we're gonna be doing this weekend first of all secondly to give you a little bit of uh, you know insight on what we can expect from future technology future technology is is ever-present I mean we have uh, you know we got self-driving cars in production we've got AI robots in production we have all different types of new technology coming out all the time and this just happens to be one of those very smart tools to help aid those people that can't exactly narrow down that particular issue just using a stethoscope I know that I myself on vehicles that I've worked on in the past have made a couple of error and judgment calls you know taking off the drive belt noise goes away put the drive belt back on noise is there using a stethoscope listening you can hear it through other pulleys one pulley is a little bit louder than another pulley so you suspect that that pulley that's the loudest is the one that has actually causing the problem and then it turns out that both pulleys were bad or one pulley was worse than the other one or one actually was not the correct part and it was something completely different like an alternator so numerous different like juggling acts when you're trying to find noise vibration harshness concerns which are the most difficult concerns to actually locate on a vehicle you can ask anybody that's been in automotive for however length of time that the noise vibration harshness concerns are some of the most hardest concerns to actually duplicate replicate and figure out what it is that's causing it sometimes i've heard of it uh like on on a test drive it being a pop can under the seat other times it's you know something that was like a nut or a fastener some kind of bolt that ended up in the door and then next thing you know the whole interior of the door has to come apart before you find it you know little things like that that you could actually utilize this tool for so it kind of acts like chassis ears in a sense that you're still connecting something to something to listen to a decibel vo uh, volume or some kind of audible um, volume that's coming through a headset but you can also see the decibel on the actual iPhone or smartphone app itself without necessarily having to wear earbuds so really really cool tool very ingenuitive I suspect that stuff like this is going to be coming out 
It's gonna be more and more utilized all the time. If you've got some kind of rattling or clicking coming from underneath the dash and you're looking for a bad blend door actuator, you stick your hand on a couple of them, but you're not sure uh, which one it exactly is. It feels like this one for sure. Using this tool, using that specific accessory probe that it comes with, with that microphone will help validate that. It'll help validate it. So that way you don't have to guess. It takes all the guesswork out of the equation. So I'm very excited about this tool. I can't wait to use it this weekend. Uh, Butch, my next door neighbor, like I said, he's got like an early to mid 60s uh, Chevrolet pickup. He thinks he has a water pump problem. I cannot wait to put this to the test on his pickup truck and see if we can't actually narrow that uh, search for him. He's tried taking off drive belts. He's tried using a stethoscope. He's just, he's not real sure of himself and he wants to say it's a water pump. He's half tempted to do the water pump. Um, but when I see him next time, I'm going to make sure that he holds off for at least wait for this weekend for us to take a look at it and see if we can't actually help him to validate that concern by using this smartier setup from Matco. That's all I got for this video, guys. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week so far. Thanks as always for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you guys next time.